Hi, welcome to the another edition of uh, that video tip uh, again on the topic of reading because uh, reading is something that has come across uh, all the reasoning tests and also the language proficiency tests. So, and uh, this is one of the difficult um, topics that um, students struggle to master. So, I'm once again presenting a lot of very essential skills and sub skills that will actually help you to scale your score to the maximum levels on the BD comprehension. So just go through the main uh, skills that I present on the screen and then we will be looking into in detail uh, what these tips are all about. So, so first one is there is no substitute for reading, right? So you need to read as much as possible, read quality language. And then um, knowledge of grammar and understanding the digital sections, it's always handy. And then um, the point three and four, uh, both are about vocabulary. So I can't emphasize enough on the importance of the vocabulary. And then the last one is about um, understanding how a passage is structured. It will also help us in getting a control on what's going on in the passage. So read as much as possible online, offline, blog, articles, newspapers, magazines, right? And uh, as you read, um, pause as often as possible, especially at the end of uh, each paragraph and ask some questions. So what's the main idea? Uh, what is the author trying to convey here? Why is he writing? Now, when is this written? Who is this written for? So ask and uh, summarize that. And if you're able to do that, yes, you are able to follow it. And the next one is about um, the knowledge of uh, grammar, the words, sentences, phrases, crosses, right? So uh, every part of the sentence has got its own role to play. Let me introduce it, let me complete it. We should be able to see things clearly. And also there are um, you know, pronouns and pronoun references. These are also very uh, good in helping us follow the key point or the main idea of the subject because pronoun replaces the, the subjects there. So, um, author cannot be repeating this subject every time, but uh, the pronoun or a relative pronoun is an indicator that uh, is talking or is going, or is going back to the same thing. Now, the next one is about um, yes, vocabulary. Um, there's a lot of help available on vocabulary, there is dictionary as well as there are apps, there are emails, and uh, we always Google immediately, right. So improve your vocabulary, don't ignore and keep reading, don't uh, uh, assume the meanings and then try to interpret that way, that is going to be harmful. And also um, have a uh, basic um, understanding of uh, the root words, right, suffix, prefix, and um, they will um, and the, what, what kind of word that uh, it belongs to is it an adjective okay so if it is an adjective that is trying to um, describe that right so that's going to be useful so pay attention because you'll not be always uh, having the access to a certain resource to check the meaning especially in the test conditions so you should be able to um, arrive um, at the meaning of um, the word uh, either through the context, right, or the main idea, or the genre that is um, presented. And uh, so there are many, many clues that are already available. So you don't have to have always a dictionary to check the meaning of the word. So once you know the meaning, then you will be able to. Yes, in the main idea. And finally, um, how the passage is structured. Right? There is always a flow, and ideas are interconnected. Ideas are progressed in a certain way. And then 
how it is done. There are lots of clues already made available by the author in the passage. So the logical connectors that you see on the screen, and then there is always a main idea to support the main idea. Uh, author uses some facts, observations, and even um, examples to support and to justify his main point. So when you follow these details, then you'll be able to uh, you know, build uh, or uh, a diagram in the back of your mind. You can turn the words as a mental block. Uh, uh, even you can draw a table of content um, on a scratch pad so that uh, you can see the complete uh, structure of the passage uh, on your notes. So these are some of the basic skills that are very essential and uh, we, since we do cover these uh, foundational aspects when you sign up for your coaching for any of the products that we offer and if you are interested about uh, our coaching uh, products and the details uh, do write to us or call up the number that you see here and um, we'll be glad to help you understand um, your needs and uh, help you provide all the necessary assistance and guidance and helping you achieve your target score. Thank you very much for your time and interest. All the best with your preparation.